Good to see you again. It's time to put aside COVID-19 and focus on COVID-2020. What is COVID-2020? Is this a more potent version of the coronavirus? No, not at all. This is an opportunity for you to learn from the coronavirus lockdown and use the learnings to transform your life. When? This year, 2020. So the acrostic COVID stands for collaborate, organize, validate, intelligence, decision. So we start with collaborate. You could try and do everything by yourself or you could learn to collaborate with like-minded people, people who share similar passions and interests. Now, finding people who share similar interests can be quite challenging, even with social media and meetups. So the C of COVID could also stand for challenge. You are confronted with a challenge. So what do you do? Well, the first thing that I would suggest you do is to work on a future selfing exercise in which you conceptualize your outcomes. So the C can also stand for conceptualize. Now, I've covered future selfing in more detail in a previous video. You take a large piece of butcher's paper and you start by listing your present state um, or problems on the left side of the page and then you list your desired outcomes on the top right of the page. You draw a box for a to-do list at the bottom right of the page and then using questions, statements and commands, you map out the steps and stages that, you, that are required for you to move from your present state to your desired outcome. It's also helpful to uh, refer to the LP well-formed outcome questions. So I suggest that you collaborate with like-minded people that you either find or create an environment in which you flourish. You make friends with people who share similar passions and interests and you learn how to team up together to maximize your potential and your enjoyment. And then we get to O for organize. So there's quite a lot to doing all that, which means you need to be organized. And once again, that is where the future selfing exercise is really quite useful. It gives you something that you can refer back to on a daily basis. And it's a lot easier than doing a formal goal setting exercise, you know, on a Word document. And the reason why future self exercises get results is because you actually take thoughts out of mind and put them onto paper. The kinesthetic component is really important. And I don't think future selfing is so effective if you do it on a uh, computer device. Not only that, but using paper means you can do a future selfing exercise as a team effort. So you get a large sheet of butcher's paper or flip chart paper, or whatever you want to use, you lay it out on the table, and then using question statements and commands and keeping the NLP well-formed outcome questions in mind, you map your thoughts out on the paper. Each person can contribute to the project and you have a to-do list, which clearly states what immediate action should be taken. And then if possible, you stick the future self exercise on a wall so that everyone can see it. And then over the next few days or weeks, you can continue to update it. You can still take a photo to put on your phone, post it on Instagram if you want, but the main reference should be the butcher's paper. So the future self exercise is the organized part of the COVID acrostic. And then we get to validate. So you accept the challenges that life presents to you. You put yourself in an environment in which you flourish. You collaborate with like-minded people. You conceptualize and organize your projects doing a future selfing exercise. And then it's time to acknowledge yourself and the others in your team for doing just that. Acknowledgement is a key part of being in rapport with others. Acknowledgement of self 
brings with the self-recognition, the self-awareness that you're okay. That you have what it takes to transform your life and create a better future for yourself. So that means you should take the acknowledgement to a higher level and validate yourself. Give yourself value. You're okay. You're doing good. And make sure you also validate people in your team so that they get to feel good about themselves and get positive outcomes. The I of the COVID 2020 acrostic stands for intelligence. So to harness every valuable IQ point of your intelligence requires that you work to your personality type. And what you want is for each of you in the team or family to understand and accept your personality types and differences. Because as Roger Hamilton says, your personality type is your genius. And decision. At some point, you need to make a decision to take action. An intelligent decision after having mapped out your present state and desired outcome on the paper using a future self exercise format. And most importantly, drawing upon the NLP well-formed outcome questions. And once you have made the decision, then you can take action, feeling confident that the time and resources will be a good investment for you. So I hope that this video has empowered you in some way and reminded you of the importance of taking whatever happens in life as a challenge, such that it becomes second nature for you to reflect upon your present state, access and mobilize uh, both inner and outer resources, work methodically towards your desired outcomes and build a better version of yourself. Make sure you check the links below the video. Please, uh, Give the video a like, subscribe if you haven't done so, leave a comment, and if you have not done so, feel free to join us over at the Facebook NLP and Hypnotherapy group. And I look forward to seeing you again.